Welcome back. It's time for us to play some more 10 minute games on our favorite uh, Shogi Wars website. Um, so, yeah, as usual, I think I'll be trying to play uh, Central File Rook, and we'll take it and see how things go. Good luck. So if we start by pushing the center pawn, we are more like most likely to obtain this position. Um, okay. Yeah, and I've mentioned in some previous live stream how I had some desire to like move the silver first and not necessarily defend my king super heavily. Okay, and we've talked about this before too, how like if I let them break in on the third file, that would be the meaning of the sun silver to the center. It would allow me to attack faster, but they'd break on this file first. <sighs> yeah, today I want to learn something, so let's see how this plays out. Um, I can hit this point right now, they push the pawn, and it's not immediately obvious what's going on. Um, let's see, I think I'm supposed to retreat my rook to avoid a knight fork. Right, so they defend uh, the king side, but the bishop is loose. So I tuck my king away, and then... Once bishops exchange, I am prepared, and maybe they aren't. Um, we take the silver, or we take the center, they maybe take the side of the board. Uh, this could be interesting. There's so many different ways you can shape your castle and your attack in Chogi. And I've not experimented with all of them just yet. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of room for me to learn here. In general, I push back against the side or the edge pawns, uh, but today we're trying this a bit differently, and we'll have to. I'll have to look at this after the games to see like if this is a good idea or unreasonable idea. Um, so far. I think my ideas look reasonable. Um, perhaps I've overlooked something. So our opponent threatens our silver, so let's move our silver out of harm's way. And we've taken a knight. On the other hand, they have this diagonal that they're using. At least until I oppose it but um, then their rook promotes. So, what do we do? I've collected a knight. I guess I'm... Oh! That's their idea. That is nice. All right. Um, this could still be fine, though. So yeah, they get my bishop. I get something out of this, but I'm not sure, entirely sure what. Um, Nana. Let's 
it's going to take them some time to build up a stronger attack. So while that's building, hopefully I can launch something faster. I'm still considering, do I push this pawn and then like drop a silver and try to attack toward their king? Um... Or rather, what's the right way for me to approach their castle? If I drop here, they defend this, and I've not achieved much. Yeah, I think this is the most direct path forward, uh, so I can drop a silver here and approach the king. There's always new possibilities. I'm stumped. Okay, this looks too interesting. How do they defend against this? Do they drop a rook to defend this? No, they don't. Okay. Their rook is still floating. So once they attack my horse, I just move over and hit the rook again. Um, okay. I'm hitting this gold. I don't know that I want to take it right now, but um, hmm. and each move I build up slightly closer to their castle. Well, that's pretty far away. Gofun. I'm so confused. Okay, this horse makes sense in defense.
I'll take note of today's proverb. <laughs> A token on 5C cannot lose. Um, let's see. I have a chance to evaluate that in just a second. Thump. Hmm. My move does shit to defend my king. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so... Expect to run. I could have taken that. That was a free rook takes rook right there. Alright. Um, this game is going to get much more difficult in just a second. It's, well, no, they can't do this fork again, because this time I can actually take it. My king can run. But, um, yeah, that was a free rook. Uh, remembering to look at the entire board is a bit challenging. Yeah, I was just a bit miffed that my opponent is defending reasonably well here. Um... Because I'm playing a good attack, and I'm being met with a good response. It's not something I'm super accustomed to. Nifun. Oh, they can attack this again, can't they? Mm, I should not be encouraging them to drop a gold right next to my horse. Hmm. Especially if I don't know how to follow up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this. Where's the book of Proverbs of what to do after you've messed up? I don't know. An early escape of the king is worth eight moves, they say. We'll see. If I start running now, maybe I survive. Maybe not.
。うん。1分。This looks crazy, but what can I do? Oh, they get a silver in hand when they take here. That's a mate in one threat. Um... Oh, they have checkmate here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the game. Yeah, well played. All right, I'm going to analyze these games after I've played all three. So uh, that one will require further analysis. Good luck. Mm. Yeah, let's stick to it. Let's be stubborn. Let's see where we end up. Okay, they're not hard committing to... What I thought they were going to do was the Duck Legs Castle. And I was curious what would happen if they did that. And we both... Um, just went all in on attacking. Uh, apparently that's not where we're going right now. So let's take some time to actually build a proper castle. And then also chase the rook a little bit. Also push the edge pawn to like threaten to win the bishop. Um, Probably should have done that last turn. But no, I can't actually threaten to win the bishop with the rook like this. Whoa, hang on. The lance is hanging. 
Um, hmm. Okay. With everything being a skelter like this, can I take any advantage? If I push, I push again. Get the pawn in hand and open our bishop diagonal. If I don't open the bishop diagonal, they can put the bishop back on that. But now it's much harder for them to oppose my bishop. So now I can chase their bishop a little bit. They protect the bishop's head, which by itself is reasonable. It's just there's a cost to business. Um, our cost to doing business. So I yield the pawn on my bishop's head so I can take this pawn and win their knight and like chase their king and stuff. They can't easily defend this, yeah, so they defend their knight. Um, I guess still want to take here and threaten to promote. Okay, they stop my threat. I feel like I should have another threat here somewhere. Maybe not. I've not prepared one. So they're out of pawns. They're going to get this pawn. Oh, they don't want it. Okay. That's a fighting spirit. Um, I use my bishop. I guess they'll defend with a pawn, and um, maybe not. Maybe they don't defend. Okay. Um Well, this game has proceeded quite aggressively for both of us. Um, yeah, they're trying to defend this point now. I can't blame them for trying. Uh, See, so yeah, their king might not ever make it into this corner. Uh, okay, we keep detouring. Interesting. I think this is safe. Maybe I've walked into something absolutely horrendous, but I think I'm safe. If they attack, I retreat. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if retreating is safer than advancing here.
If they sack the bishop, bishop takes might be my safest response. Gold takes looks a little risky, but I don't know. My king is like in this position I'm not comfortable with. So I know I'm talking calmly and such, but um, this is a pretty tense moment. I expect bishop takes silver, and I'm thinking, do I do take with the gold so they can drop the silver? Keep exchange. Well, they can't promote the rook. The rook promotion is not available because my gold and silver cover these squares. I have everything just barely covered enough that they aren't uh, cracking my castle. Okay, I didn't account for this. Um, hmm. They intend a silver drop next, no doubt. Gofun. So my attack is also very strong. My audio has gone out for some reason. Hopefully there's still recorded audio. Let me check. Even though my speakers have gone out. Yeah, you can still hear everything. I'm just deaf. Hopefully that's fine. I don't know why my speakers suddenly stopped. Just means I need to pay a bit more attention now. So if they block with... Well, they're not going to drop a silver to block this, are they? Originally, I thought they might. Um, but they could just move a silver. And the, yes, their king's in danger if they just move this the piece that's doing the best job defending the king. But if they drop their silver, their attack is over. So, um, yeah, we'll see what they do. Okay, the rook runs away from my attack. That's a clever move, actually. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to step away from what looks like a fork. So now if they drop a silver, I can just let it sit there. And maybe I should have done this a long time ago. I have audio again. Okay, my king is in this pancake in the middle of the board. It's not pleasant. Maybe I should have done that silver drop earlier. Trying to clarify my opponent's intentions. I don't know. Balancing attack with defense is challenging. Because the opponent can attack in many places at once, and so you have to have a defense for each attack. Thumping.
Um, Hmm. I think this is the right thing to do. Even though it mobilizes all of both players' pieces. I could have taken this pawn and maybe should have. That would have been the safer thing to do, but it's not ambitious. This is more ambitious by far, but also dangerous. But where could they drop a knight? Well, I could drop it here and win my gold. Except I'm protecting it, but still. My king needs to get out of here. I hope everybody's safe in the background. You may be able to hear uh, sirens. I hope everything's okay. My parents say that um, when you hear sirens, always make a prayer. And so we pray. So, yeah, I know um, on holiday weekends and such, um, a lot of people get out and about, and uh, it's a quite exciting and festive time, um, especially around a holiday. Um, And so, yeah, while you're enjoying your weekend and holidays with friends, uh, please observe basic safety precautions and avoid fires and things like that. Um, I guess maybe there should be an annual PSA just reminding folks that fires are a real thing. And so you want to, like, make sure you have proper protection. If you're using a barbecue or something like that, make sure that uh, you have some way of putting out the fire or alerting folks to a fire, if things like that occur. Make sure that um, you and your family or whoever you reside with have escape plans prepared. In the event of a fire, you know what to do, etc. Because fires can be pretty serious and tragic. And uh, when they do strike, you have to know what to do. Nifun. Oops. Um, okay, I'm going to open this diagonal and hope that that was the right thing to do. I'm in check. Starting to think I made the wrong move there. Oh, wait, they could have blocked my horse defense, or my bishop defending the horse. Yeah, like, things didn't have to have this positive of an outcome. Mm, I got distracted. My king is now in a very precarious spot. But our opponent is building up their army to attack me, so... Yeah, I'm doing what I can within reason to defend my king, but my king should not be here. Our opponent does not have a gold general in hand, so maybe my king might be able to make a run for it. But where to? No, running up the board is... While exciting, it's not the right thing to do here. So...
our gold general is hanging, so let's make use of all of our pieces. Um, yeah, this is a mess. Well, I could have stepped up there. That would have been interesting. They have to defend. Bishop here check is a monstrous attack. So they have to defend against that. Oh, actually, this is checkmate, isn't it? And two down, one to go. Good luck. This looks interesting. Okay, so my king is now safe enough. Maybe I've moved the king too many times here, but next I should proceed my silver aggressively here. In previous game analyses, we saw that if they push this pawn twice, um, while that is quite aggressive, it's maybe too much. Okay. That defends this point. It certainly does. Um... Hmm. Okay, we're going to play the silver up here. Um, and block this edge. Yeah, that makes sense that they put pressure over there, or at least stop my bishop from attacking in that way. Okay. And that means this position is open. Wide open. Lots of things can happen. Um, I open the diagonal for my bishop. And attack two pawns. So yeah, I'm hoping to break through or achieve something useful here um, before their rook has a chance to promote. Uh, they have one pawn in hand, so that one pawn cannot go on two files at the same time. If I take here, they trap my rook. I go here, they continue trapping my rook. That's not smart. 
Um, hmm. Hmm. If I take here their work of poses and get some fun places. Um, If they trap my rook, I sack here. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is interesting. I don't think I have a decisive breakthrough, as much as I wish I might. Nana fun. I don't deserve to have a decisive breakthrough, given what I've done. But if there is one, I really don't want to miss it. Let's build a castle. Okay. That's something. Um, yeah, I guess my silver gets trapped three different ways here. I didn't see... Th oh, okay, I can't... Wow. Um, this looks like the most interesting way for my silver to be trapped. And we're off to the races. Welcome. Yeah, game one here. I brought the horse back to my own camp and could not figure out how to attack. And there could have been other factors involved. But yeah, the horse belongs to your own camp. Uh, dragon in your opposing camp. That's the most effective way to use your pieces. Here, this is confusing. Um... Hmm. Oh, wait, they don't have a rook in hand. I should be careful not to give them one. Um, but, like, where my rook's sitting now is it's sitting duck, so... I don't know, if I try to use my rook, it doesn't get very far. But right now they don't have lots of pieces to oppose this just yet. So this is the best chance I'm going to have to activate my rook. Go from. Okay, so if I take that, they drop a lance, and I lose this for a lance. If I retreat right now... Oh, that's sad. Well, this could be worse. We have a pawn in the event that they drop a lance in front of the rook. Um, but also in the event that I just want to attack, I can drop it here. Um, and continue hitting this castle. Hey! <laughs> I mentioned how I had a pawn. I don't have a pawn to defend my rook anymore. Um, 
Okay, well, that's an exchange that's probably very dangerous. Um, so, now what? Oh, I have to take this. I mean, yeah, this is extremely painful. Do I have a checkmate? No. Not even close. Hmm. Yeah, so this is why you castle before you attack. Um, we'll see what I can do. That's smart. Yeah. They have a bishop in hand. They do not have another knight in hand. Um, I guess this is my best move, although it allows bishop 5-5, five five, but I can move my rook up, and I think I survived that. Um, Hmm. Three Smart. Alright, so it's going to take a miracle for me to turn this game around. Um, okay, I'm forced to capture that, aren't I? Likewise, this is forced. As long as they have a gold general in hand, I can't move up the board. Oh, I can't go down either. Wow, really? Impressive. Yeah, thanks for the game. Well played. Alright. So, yeah. I know I don't usually include game review as part of these videos, but I will be reviewing these games afterward. So, either way, hope we enjoyed that. Yeah, thanks for watching.